Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn my favorite exercise for practicing my funky blues chops. And what this is, is basically an endless loop over a really cool and simple riff. This funky blues riff goes like this. Okay? And it's so energetic and so groovy that it demands to be answered by a solo. So you can practice your improvisation chops without the need of a backing crack because you're answering yourself. It's a question and answer thing, but you're both players. So this creates a really intense energy when you play. This lick, okay, it's, it's a basic riff, but um, it's so short that it can be construed as a lick. It may, can be considered a lick. So uh, it goes like this, it's A major. And you play the fifth string and then strings two, three, and four. Okay? And it's a short note. Okay? Staccato. Um, don't let it ring. So you play the bass and the chord. And then immediately you play A, G, the bass notes. Okay? You play the fifth string. And then immediately three on the sixth string. And then you play the open G chord, strings two, three, and four again, only open. And then it's the A bass and then the A chord. Okay? So it's A and then it's the full A chord, strings two, three, four, and five. Now you can play variations on this leg as well, but first get to know this leg. Okay? So it's A. A, G, and then A, A, okay, just like the battery, I'm kidding, okay, so immediately it demands an answer, okay, listen to this, okay, even if the answer is just noise, if it's just ghost notes, um, you want to answer this lick, this riff, okay? Uh, if it's if it can be considered a riff, okay? So sometimes I will just play the G bass, okay? To create extra tension, okay? A and then the G bass note and then A again. Okay, so um, you can basically play anything you want over this. So wherever you are in your musical journey, whatever skill level you're currently in, use this to practice. Okay, so you can you can play the boogie notes. Okay, which are three and four on the fifth string, and two, four, five on strings three and four. Okay, the okay, okay, the boogie notes. Okay, this is basically a combination of the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. Okay, so this is a good place to start. Then you can just play the major pentatonic, okay, on two, where you are, okay, but try to make it funky. Okay, I just played a Lydian sound. Okay. 
whatever you want to play fits. Okay, I'm trying to come up as a, with as many ideas and surprise myself and challenge myself. Okay, and then you can move on to the minor pentatonic. You don't have to play on, on five. You can play the fifth position. Okay, on okay on three and five. Okay, you can also make it chromatic. Okay. Okay, so. Whatever you want to play here works. Okay. Um, you can basically do whatever fits your style. Okay, but try to think out of the box. Try to challenge yourself to new ideas. Then you can move up the fretboard. Okay, you can move up to the pentatonic on five. Sometimes if your line is a little bit long, you need to play the riff from the middle, okay? Okay? The more notes you add to your soloing lick, the more you subtract from the riff, okay? That's also a really good thing to practice. If your idea didn't work the first time, play it again the next time and find a way to make it work. Then, once you're comfortable, go up the fretboard again. Okay, this time to the second position of the pentatonic. Okay, you also have a major here. Okay, the D shape on nine, so you can use that. And then again, move upwards. Okay, so this is a really cool exercise because it's a loop, not just the riff looping around, it's actually you looping around because the more you try, the more you improvise, the more ideas you have, the better guitar player you get, and then you have even better ideas, and you try them out, and those promote more ideas, so it, it's endless, it never ends. Uh, whatever you learn, you can immediately apply to this endless exercise. So, Thank you so much for watching. Go check out my Break Your Boundaries course program, my full course program filled with over 15 course modules. I actually just released a new course module at the beginning of the month. So uh, whenever you join the Break Your Boundaries course program, you become a member for life and you receive every future course module for free added automatically to your members area. So all the existing members already uh, got this new course. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. I'll be happy to see you there. It's a digital recorded course program. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Have fun with this.